talk about here was these. This is courtesy of Hypebeast and it features an early look at a pair of Run The Jewels Nike Dunk Highs and or SB sorry Nike Dunk SB well, no, Nike SB Dunk Highs Nike Skateboarding Dunk you know the deal and the reason why I'm going to mention them because just the other day I was thinking to myself how tired I am of seeing the dunk shape they've been absolutely rinsed if there's one thing Nike know how to do is to market a shoe and to rinse it that's one thing they're gonna do there's no way Nike puts out a shoe that you haven't seen before or that just drops out of the blue you've always seen them and when they do eventually drop even if they're out of the blue and it's a model that hasn't been retro it's a model that hasn't been put out in a while they're gonna rinse it and grind it into the ground and the dunks have been absolutely rinsed to smithereens and the funny thing is that nike have tried to do the dunk thing many times i feel like but i feel like now it hit because everybody's like a mini sneaker reseller and everyone wants to be you know their own version of flipping StockX and whatnot or whatever it may be or just some famous reseller on social media that stands in front of a ferrari or in front of a garage or whatever doing that weird face they do so everyone wants to do that so it kind of if you're going to redo the, the dunks again and bring that hype back this is the best time to do it because i feel like throughout my time being a sneakerhead there's been various times where nike have tried to force a dunk thing and it just hasn't caught on no one's cared but now those same dunks that i was able to buy with ease at flipping slam city skates and stuff are now flipping grails that people are paying you know three times the retail value on or five or six or whatever maybe which is insane to think that like even dunks like hunter dunk sbs that i used to wear every single day to flipping you know you know out and about as like my beaters and my bike and stuff are now really big shoes that people care about like the reese forbes i had a few pairs of those those are big shoes the diamond coat supplies even at the time when i had them they were quite popular those have become like grails as well and go for mil go for millions go for hundreds sometimes even thousands i guess depending on the probably the style i'm assuming dunk high diamond supplies probably not too much maybe definitely the lows that came out originally that i had but things are clearly hitting and i was getting kind of bored of them getting kind of over them then of course as per usual with nike they put out so many different shoes so many different colorways of the same shoe eventually you're going to see one that you like it's just a lot of averages and this run this pair of shoes um collaboration with run the jewels is clearly something that i'll be all over and if you're just listening to the show it's a dunk high that features what looks like a combination of pink and black but the pink the kind of fuchsia pink color goes around the mud guard around the laces and the back of section of the dunk and it looks like it's a pony hair that you'd see on a usually the pony hair thing was only kind of um reserved for year of you know chinese new year dunks or chinese new year nikes right for some reason there would always be some sort of animal animal print or hair fabric thing on a shoe if it was like a chinese new year shoe um, that's when you'd see it or if it was a Hiroshi Fujiwara collaboration like a Japanese designer would do something like that have an exotic fur material I guess they moved away from that but it's a combination of that kind of pony hair type horse hair whatever it is um, hair that's on the top of the dunk and then the black bits of the dunk are tumbled leather which I love I love that tumbled leather type feel I think they work really well on high shoes in general because they kind of crease really well they kind of mold your foot a little bit and they usually have a higher quality the leather than you'd get on kind of regular leather shoes and then the swoosh itself looks like it's a bit bejeweled maybe kind of a play on the word run the jewels and they've got also a little um lace jewel here that, that the bottom two that's also kind of bejeweled also to make it look like a little bit like a diamond -y type thing it obviously shows off more on the lace thing less on the swoosh because the swoosh obviously is not a lot of surface area to make it look like a diamond or look kind of jewelly but i do like the combination the color combo because i'm a big fan of two color combo three color combo shoes when it comes to nike especially when it's these type of panels on like an air force one air jordan one a dunk whatnot i think once you start changing too many colors on the pan one too many too many panel colors it can get a bit crazy but when you just keep it classic kind of college type things with like you know one base color the color on the essence and then maybe the soul is different or something or maybe the swoosh it kind of is a bit more of a better balance and i feel like this black pink sort of like you know what's that what's it called uh, acetate or grand granite or whatever midsole there i love that they look really really good like amazingly good this is giving me flashbacks of working in the stock room you see this box is in the back but i'm actually a big fan of these like i, I would legitimately wear them and just the other day i was saying i've had enough with dunks and you know this is why this is why companies like nike and new balance and stuff why they 
pump out so many different colors of the same shoe that to me get boring because they know eventually one can hit and they know a customer like myself will go back the one that's complaining about stuff and you'll pay for it and you'll buy it that's why they don't probably listen to us because they know we're full of shit we can say what we want oh it's getting boring it's the same thing but you're gonna buy it anyway do you know what i mean so just shut up let us do our thing and we're gonna bring something out that you'll like but i love these man these are really good i'd wear them today and I, they'll probably end up being you know what happened with these I saw some comments already, especially on the Hypebeast article, where they say, oh, these are crap, these are hideous. But what end up happening, somebody well-known will wear a pair, and then suddenly they'll become popular again, everyone will want them. That's what ends up always happening. Somebody well-known, somebody with some clout, somebody that's well-known, um, somebody that's maybe a style icon, wherever it may be, or, you know, whatever. They will wear them, and then suddenly they'll look good. That's all it takes, one person to wear them, and then it kind of just takes off and goes the other way. So I can definitely see that happening for sure. But I love these Ronda Jewels Dunky High SBs. They look pretty cool. What's the information about the time and they're coming out? Don't read the article. It's going to be full of nonsense. It says more details yet to be confirmed, but these are rumored to be releasing on Killer Mike's birthday, which is April the 20th of 2023. So a bit of a long way to wait for them to come out. Maybe not. Maybe six months, right? Is it five or six months to wait for them to eventually drop? But I, for one, cannot wait when they eventually do because, you know, as I mentioned, I was already over the dunks and now I'm suddenly back on it again. And what better way to get back on it again than these flipping bad boys. They look great. And I'm a big fan of Dunk Highs anyway. I think they look better than the Lows personally for me, even though I have worn a lot of Lows over the years. And plus, for the most part, Dunk High SBs don't have the thick tongue, which I always love because I hate that padded tongue personally for me. I'm not really a big fan of it on a Dunk. I think Dunk's class, dunk, classic Dunks are just a regular thin tongue look better um, than the thick padded tongue that you'd get on an sb which is why if i even if i had old pairs of sb which i don't have i sold all of mine i'd consider actually gutting out the tongues and just making them flat i know that's flipping sacrilege but they're my shoes i'm not gonna if, if i had them i wouldn't resell them still back in the day i obviously did because i need money for flipping uni but if i had those shoes right now i'd just gut the tongues because i feel like they look far better profile while it's just like flat instead of that unnecessary fat puff of tongue thing because the rest of the shoe is pretty thin and flat also to have that fat tongue just hanging out there just doesn't make much sense to me personally but again what do i know when it comes to this sort of stuff in it what do i know but yeah check those out hopefully they drop soon and um we'll see those what would they say yeah, 2023 right when it's flipping killer mike's birthday which is a pretty swaggy time for them to come out in it so big up killer mike for being the don when it comes to that sort of stuff